Gat Out of Hell is the new standalone expansion to Saints Row 4 and features the series staple Johnny Gat as the player character, rather than the protagonist of the original game. Instead of being an expansion on the steel port featured in Saints Row games, Volition and High Voltage Software have created a grand metropolis of fire and brimstone, more commonly referred to as Hell. Nice. As it is an expansion, I will get this out of the way quickly. The game handles like Saints Row 4, special powers, multiple weapons, tight gun mechanics, frenetic action, free open world, everything. If you enjoy the way Saints Row 4 feels, then this is the perfect extra game for you. Spoiler warning, the game takes place after the events of the main campaign of Saints Row 4, so if you plan to buy the re-elected bundle for PlayStation 4 or X-Bone, you might want to skip forward about 30 seconds while I give a little setup. Right. After the destruction of Earth, the President is kidnapped from the surviving humans by the Devil. As soon as the Hell Portal opened, Johnny volunteered to go in after his leader and reluctantly accepted the help of Kinsey. It's my birthday. Fine. That's the setup, and if you have not played Saints Row 4, then the introduction to the game will make very little sense to you, if any at all. Even though the dialogue in the intro was laden with exposition for this very reason, I still feel as though the setup for the expansion story is very rushed. One minute you're in what seems to be a bunker reminiscent of Fallout 3 especially considering the birthday party taking place, the next you're trying to steal a car in an unfamiliar hellish landscape. The story missions are quite straightforward. You must impress five specific people, one for each general area of the map, each with a mixture of different mission types to accomplish on their turf. Along the way there are other missions thrown at you to aid the story, but other than that it doesn't seem especially intricate or multi-tiered. Of course, there are plenty of side missions to be getting on with, with excellent variety between playstyles and objectives. In a way, missions play out exactly as they had done in Saints Row 4, but most of them given a hellish twist. For example, the insurance fraud which now gives you the objective of making a soul suffer enough to remove years from their time left in hell. I am in your debt. When a major story point is reached, narrated storybook sections take over. Though they can be funny, they seem to be a cheap replacement to producing extra content. After all, this is just an expansion. For example, there is one particular storybook cutscene that changes Johnny's appearance and playstyle through the acquisition of Lucifer's Fallen Halo, which would have made an awesome reward for a set of missions where I could find or earn it. Instead, it was given to me over the course of 10 seconds or so and two page turns. This is the kind of thing that would also detract from new players' understanding of what the hell is going on whereas experienced players will know that the game is simply giving superpowers to players early on. Let him go. Due to the short nature of the game, most unlockables are achieved in almost no time at all. Beefing up your speed, flying ability, powers and guns among other features can be tailored to the player's need. For instance, I only used two or three different weapons so didn't spend money on the others. And I flew more than ran so extra speed or stamina in the air took priority over the same upgrades on the ground. If you enjoy side missions and being a general completionist, then you will sink days and days into the chaotic fun to be had here. Fun is the word of the series. Whatever Saints Row throws at you or whichever gun or objective you're given, the series has always done it for the fun. In a way, it is an even louder satire of modern culture than the GTA series and Saints Row always has been. So you'll be glad to know that Gat Out of Hell is no exception. The fun additions are the conversion of superpowers to Halo powers. The slam is an excellent way to touch down from flight and push enemies away from a mission objective. Shooting energy balls that petrify Satan's minions as well as their vehicles is very handy in a tight spot. Summoning minions or defensive towers is very useful when waves of enemies were involved. And there is an aura power to help in close proximity. There is a good variety in the enemy types. A couple flying, a couple of tanks and a slew of standard demon units. Notable encounters are those against archdemons who wield swords and are pretty badass. What, you think I couldn't do it? No. The ending gives multiple choices, each of which is worth a final boss replay to see, as they are all very funny and features a quite notable cameo. Thankfully, they haven't put up a facade that if you're good, you get the good ending, or if you're bad, you get the bad ending. They actually present it as a choose your own adventure book. The writing is as enjoyable as the previous games, and the missions are hella fun giving around 6 hours of gameplay to reach the end. Once the end is reached, which I managed to get at 67% completion, so 10 hours looks to be the 100% time, you get to run around hell finishing the side quest that you didn't fit in before. I liked it, and if you like Saints Row then there's no reason not to get this budget price new release. If you're not a fan of the series, I recommend a play of Saints Row 4 for the full impact of this title. I give Saints Row 4 Get Out of Hell a fiery 5 out of 8.
It's better than the average open world shooter affair, but feels in every way like a cut down game. Mm. Thank you, I've been PT with the killer bits, and uh, this is.